got an assorted besotted lightship spotters eagerly ticking the box in their books next to Balagan. The craft is artfully decked with stacks of artifacts predating its departure from its home beyond the stars. Suddenly the Balagan swings towards the stern, a stern reminder of the forces working ceaselessly to bring the Balagan down. The alien who so recently permitted his battered frame, the unfettered rest it needed, leaps now to his feet and barks an order at an orderly to bring the guns to bear, but the order comes too late. For soon the Balagan is plunging, engines pumping clumps of unclean fumes upon the humans down below. He resigned to fate, retakes his place upon the seat. My eyes no big as me, oh, my tongue thick as the slice of pie. Thought I might get me a cup of coffee or just lie down and die. And then the rain began to fall. I lay. Her name was Phyllis Schneck. <laughs> she worked with me in a crab cannery in Glen Burnie, Maryland. Every morning I would kiss my real wife goodbye and head to work. Down at the cannery, Phyllis and I would laugh our heads off all day. You know, real inside crab humor. <laughs> and I'm considered a pervert. <laughs> oh, God, I'm a monster! 